how to generate AI voiceovers with Murph AI. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can generate voiceovers with an AI voice that actually sounds pretty good. You can use this for your YouTube videos or any other type of content. This right there is what I'm going to show you in today's video. I'll leave timestamps for that in the description down below, as well as a link that allows you to get a free trial on Murph.ai in case you want to use it. Once you sign up for your account, you'll be in the studio. If you click on create a new project, you can now choose whether you want to just build an audio or a video project. I'm going to go with audio for now and I'm going to start blank. Do know that if you want to use one of these templates, you simply select it and you click create project. For now, I'm going to create a blank one. Click create and then here you go. You're now sent in to the Murph AI voice editor. Now, first of all, I want to show you what these voices actually sound like. As you can see, they've got many different languages as well as accents. For example, English, US and Canada, UK, Australia, India, kids, Scottish, and then you have French in France, French in Canada, and that list basically goes on and on depending on whether you speak different accents per language. So you can choose any language that you'd like. You can also filter on male and female. Let's just get into the voices for now. So as you can see, we've got Terrell, which I like. I'll play that for you right now. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. We all have something to share with the world. As you can see, that's a really deep, like kind of motivational voice that sounds pretty good. You've got Natalie, for example. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with real chicken. So to me, that voice sounds pretty cool. It's kind of the voice that you are used to when you're watching TikToks. So it is perfect to use for that short form content as well as advertisements. You've got many, many more. I'll show you one of my other favorites, which is Michelle. Hi, and welcome to our company wide training video on organizational culture and policies. You see, so that voice would be really good on, let's say, corporate kind of stuff or tutorial videos. It sounds more professional. But as you can see, there are many, many more. I'll show more of them later on in the video. For now, let's generate a voiceover. So how do you do that? You've got multiple options. As you can see right here, it says enter your text here. So what you can do is you can manually type everything here. So if you do that, obviously it's gonna take you a while. So you can manually type it within the software or, and that's what I use myself, I import the scripts. So you can see on the left-hand side, you'll find import scripts. If you click there and you click select the file, you can then select the script, you can click open, it's gonna upload, it's then gonna automatically put it into the software, which you'll see right now, upload complete. And then this is very important, don't put split script by paragraphs, but put split script by sentences. This is gonna make it sound much, much better. And there you go. We now have our script ready inside the software. I'll quickly delete this one because that's not what I did. So that's how you can delete stuff. But let's find out how we can make the voiceover sound good. Now, just for you to know as well, a lot of channels are indeed getting monetized on YouTube with voices from Murph AI, as well as other tools. I'll leave a link to the other tools in the description down below as well. Okay, so we now have our script ready inside Murph AI, but how do we generate this and how do we make it better? First of all, you gotta make sure that you chose the voice that you wanna use. So currently it is set, as you can see here, to Samantha, but I don't wanna use Samantha. If I wanna use, let's say, Terrell, I can simply select him. But what you wanna make sure you do, if you change it after you already had another voice selected, is click on apply voice to entire project. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do this manually, sentence by sentence. So tick this box right there and then select the voice that you want to use. So for example, if I want to use Terrell, I click select. And then as you can see, for the entire script, the voice just changed to Terrell. What I can do right now is I can start generating the audio, aka the voiceover. Now you can do that per block individually. So if I click here, I'm going to do that for the block individually, or you can do it for the entire project, which you can do by clicking this button right here. What I'll do right now, I'll click on the big button. As you can see, it's generating audio. So what it's not going to do, it's going to make sure that the voiceover is getting ready as well. It's building the preview and then it will even tell you how long that voiceover will equate to as of right now. So my script with Terrell's voice will equate to one minute and six seconds of audio. That way you can also see how long your video would end up. In order to then listen to it, you can click play here on the individual block or the entire video by clicking right here. If you click on timeline, you can actually see the captions for the voiceover right here as well. What I'm gonna do right now is simply click on play and see what it sounds like first try. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? 
a red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. All right, there we go. Sounds pretty good. It's not perfect yet. It's also not terrible at all. This definitely sounds like a convincing, good voice. Now, what do you do if, let's say, you don't like the voiceover as of right now and you want to change the way it says a few words? Well, you can do that by adding emphasis as well as changing the pitch and changing the speed, plus adding pauses as well as pronunciation. You can do everything you want to do. Let me demonstrate how that works. So right now, this is the standard version. If I want to change the pitch, I simply click on pitch and I can drag it all the way to the right or all the way to the left as well as reset to the default. So what I'll do right now, I'm going to put this on 20% because Terrell has a low, slow voice. I'll change it to pitch 20% and I'll change the speed as well. I'll put it 10% up. What you then do, you click on generate audio again. So anytime you make a change, you have to click on generate audio again, and then it's going to render and preview that new version that you have just created. And I'll show you right now. I'll click play and you can notice the difference. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. All right, there you go. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds different already then what you can also do is add pauses. So punctuation is really important on these AI tools. You can use the commas, the periods already to make it sound much better. But if you want to manually add pauses, what you can do is go to the part where you want to add a pause and then click on add pause right there. You can then do extra weak. You can do weak, medium, strong, extra strong, or you can do it yourself with a custom value. For example, let's see one five seconds. You type five and you click add, all right? So just five, click add, and then you're done. However, that's way too much. But what I'm gonna do right now is simply click add pause, and I'll do a weak pause right there in between. I'm gonna click generate audio again, so I can preview that once again. Every time you generate a new thing, you can then play it only after you've generated it, not before. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district. Okay, so you notice it took a little break there. If you want it to be longer, you can do that. Now, as of right now, it sounds decent, but what I'll do, I'll add a comma here, you know, to Amsterdam, and then I'll actually add a small pause, just like that, because now he's, did you know to Amsterdam, blah, blah, blah. it's more, did you know to Amsterdam has more, that sounds much better. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? Maybe that was a little bit too much, so what I'm going to test now, simply putting a comma, just like that. Did you know that Amsterdam? has more canals than Venice. All right, that was much better. So you can see by adding the comma, it already adds a small pause. Now that is just the pitch and the speed. I didn't like the way it said football club. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna double click, then click pronunciation, and then you can change the way it says it. So for example, you can preview it right now. Football. But you can change it, for example. Football. Or any of these other pronunciations right here. You can do that. What you need to do then is simply tick the box and then add it to your list. You can see the pronunciations are now updated. Click apply the project and you've then changed it. And then here's what that sounds like as of right now. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league. As you can see, it sounds a little bit different. It's still not 100% perfect, but it's already better than it sounded like. And that's how you can play around with every single word inside your script. Now, what it then comes down to is doing that for every block of your script. So you have just done the first block. Then we're going to move on to the next one and we're going to generate audio again to check what it sounds like. We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. All right, that sounds cool. But once again, what I want to do is change the emphasis on captivating city. So I'm going to make that a little bit higher, just like that. Click apply. It's now going to generate and then we can play it again. We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. All right, there you go. Sounds much better. I like what I did there. And that's how you can do that for the entire script. But before I show you how you can generate the actual file, I want to show you more AI voices so that you can get a better idea of what these sound like. This is Charles. Thank you for enrolling. This e-learning system presents you with course presentations that include videos. A very professional voice that can be used for explainer videos, for example. Then we've got Samantha. Unwrap the rumpled golden cover to reveal a chocolatey treasure. You can see this is a very chill, 
female voice, which is perfect for audiobooks, for example. Then we've got Clint. Go fast. Go far. Go forward. As you can see, kind of like in a motivational kind of tone, pretty good voice as well. Alicia. When you're looking to train your employees, you want to make sure they have the right instruction. Security Hub is committed to providing the best safety training in the industry. Once again, pretty good. We've got Carter. The Amazon rainforest is the biggest, most biodiverse. Once again, the list goes on and on. I can keep scrolling down. I can keep showing you voices. But just to get a rough idea, that is kind of what it sounds like. Also play a few voices that are not in a pro plan so that you get an idea of what you can work with if you don't want to pay for one of these plans. Hi, I'm Ava, the most versatile American voice in Murph. I can do voiceovers in many different styles. That's what it sounds like. Now I can also do the UK one. Promotional Hazel. ads are everywhere. While watching a video, streaming music. Now you can see that is definitely the UK kind of accent. You can use Jackson. Literary culture in the UK has a rich and varied history with a strong tradition of storytelling and a long list of notable. And there you go. So a lot of voices sound great. And here's what Jackson sounds like, for example. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. And there you go. Now let's say that this is the final voiceover that I want to use. What do I do? So first of all, you want to make sure to generate the whole audio, listen through it so that you're sure that everything sounds like you wanted to sound. Next up, what you can do is click export in the top right corner. And then depending on the plan, you can export up to X amount of minutes. I have the pro plan. I pay about $47 a month for this. So I can download this right now in high quality. Click download is then going to export your files. And then there's going to be a download button that appears right there, which you can then use to get your file, which looks like that. Click download and then it should show up right here. And there you go. I now have my voiceover, but we're not done yet because in case you want to create a full video with this, you could potentially do that on Murph AI as well. If you click right here on timeline, you'll see the video icon appear. Now, if you click on the plus icon right there, you can add uploads yourself, which can exist of photos as well as videos. You can use stock images right here as well as stock videos. So let's say that my video is about Amsterdam. I can type in Amsterdam. I'll find these videos of Amsterdam right here. I can click, I can click add the timeline and there we go. I have just added a video of Amsterdam. Now let's say if that video is way too long. I don't want it to be that long. I can simply select a video and then simply drag it all the way back to however long I want it to be. So for example, if I just want this in the first 10 seconds, what I can do is go into these 10 second mark, which you'll find there, drag it over to 10 seconds, just like that. And there we go. We now have added a clip. Now you can do that throughout the entire video in order for you to build the video. So if I just want to have this as the first second, click the plus icon. And then we're talking about Venice or the canals of Venice. What I type in is canals Venice. And there we go. I now have these clips. I want to add this just a small part, click add the timeline. And there we go. And then we're going to start talking about the red light district. So I'm going to click right here go to stock videos, simply search red light district in Amsterdam. There you go. Red light district, scroll down and then videos will show up. Now, whether they are accurate or not, I cannot confirm because they're using Pexels. Pexels is not the best. If you want to do this yourself through uploading, I recommend getting Storyblocks, which is definitely very good. They have literally any fault. Red light district Amsterdam. There you go. And you'll get the files. It's not that hard. What you can also do is integrate Murph AI with Pictory AI. Now, Pictory AI is an AI script to video tool. So if you click here on proceed and then you paste the script in here, it can automatically generate a full video for you. It will automatically extract clips from Storyblocks and put it in the lineup for your video. You can then add your Murph AI voice to that and you've got your full video done as well. I've made a full platform tutorial about Pictory AI as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below in case you want to check it out. Once you've built the full timeline, what you can do is add background music by clicking here and then selecting a song that you want to use. Now, all of this is powered by licensing tools, so you should not get in trouble in terms of copyright on the music. Now, just like you did with the voiceover itself, you click export. You can do video, voice only, voice with music or script. Obviously, we're going to do the video right there. Click download. 
and then it's gonna export as well. And then the same download button will appear, click on it and your video is downloaded. So that is how you can use Murph AI to generate AI voiceovers. Now, as of right now, these sound pretty convincing, but they're only getting better from here. They're constantly updating the voices as well as their entire software making it better and better over time if you want to try this out for yourself with a free trial i'll leave a link to that in the description down below do know that if you want to make a lot of videos you do have to sign up for one of the paid pricing plans i'm currently on the pro plan which is 39 dollars per month which helps me generate all of these voiceovers right here with that being said leave a like on this video let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below subscribe and check out all links for more video resources in the description down below